Good morning. Welcome to Predestined, Predestined Kingdom Ministries. I am Kenithia Johnson and I am here to speak on behalf of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Anywho, guys, I'm just going to get into this thing this morning. I'm kind of watching because I'm at my family's restaurant, so I know people are looking at me like, what is she doing? So I'm always watching. Um, our Father who are in heaven, hallowed it be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. for an anointing today the anointing that breaks the yoke to be released unto me now in the name of Jesus I take authority over this situation and every ounce of doubt inside of me oh God may it be broken now in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus I pray you wash out my flesh so that only your Holy Spirit speaks I am fearfully and wonderfully made but I rebuke the spirit of fear for I only fear you my father in the name of Jesus I am fearless in the name of Jesus I thank you father I thank you in Jesus name I pray for everyone watching Hallelujah, hallelujah, in Jesus' name, amen. He says to pray for you guys at the end. So, the Lord has been showing me to keep the faith, right? Keep the faith, keep the faith. So, a lot of us are in a waiting season. And this waiting season has been... It seems like forever, forever, but other people have been waiting longer than us, right? So, it started, the Lord has been ministering to me. And it, it started with, of course, my prophets that I watch, you know, in the prophetic realm. He speaks to me through, through dreams too, but this particular message was spoken. So... Yes. When you don't hear God speaking to you, when you're on a certain path after following directions and being in obedience with God, and then it feels like God just ghosted you, right? In a sense, it, like you, you just stop hearing from Him, right? So then it brings up certain spirits like doubt and fear, and then you're wondering like, Gosh darn it. Like what did I do wrong? <laughs> That's the number one thing you say. What did I do wrong? Where is it? How can I uproot it? Like where do I need to go to just solve this thing, right? So the Lord has been ministering to me and he says Okay. Yeah, okay. It started last night and he said when you don't hear from him after being in obedience and following what he has told you to do, he's doing that on purpose. And it's not to play hide and seek, but you don't need to hear from him. And a lot of times we yearn to hear from him because of who he is and who we are to him. So it seems foreign, right? <laughs> it seems very foreign if you don't feel or hear from him in your day-to-day -day routine. So... God is showing me that builds faith, that builds belief, right? Because if you're so used to him just being there correcting you, correcting you, correcting you, how can he how can he see that you really got it? It's like training wheels on a bike, right? You got to ride a bike. You got to ride a bike. But when you first ride a bike, you need training wheels for your balance, right? And then, at the right appointed time, all of a sudden, you don't need the training wheels anymore. So, it's time to take the training wheels off of that bike. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, then, now you balance. And now you got it. 
and you might need help a little bit in the beginning here and there for somebody to help tilt the, tilt the bike back balance right to help you get back balance but in all naturality you got it so that's kind of what God does with us so during that season we don't hear from the Lord and he does that for us like he gets us balanced and we're riding well now because you don't hear from him you start to doubt and it causes fear so what God wanted to speak on today was that during that time where you're not hearing from him it does build up your faith and your belief but it also builds up your trust in him as well so today's message is to show you why you've been going through what you've been going through okay Pastor Alf Lucao said this seasons may change and you might feel ghosted he said that seasons may change and you might feel ghosted and when he said that I wrote so much stuff down that God is just not bringing revelation to it let me see there you go. You can see it a little bit. Anyway, seasons may change and you might feel ghosted. And the Lord is just now showing me what he meant when he said that. You're going to get to a point to where you're doing good. Like, I mean, you really listening to God. you hearing him. He tell you to go right, you go right. He tell you to turn that off, you turning it off. He tell you to cut the radio down, you turning it down immediately. God is going to test you again. You're not going to be hearing from him all the time. Like, Tony, this is where I got some of this message from. Tony was saying this last night on Esther's Way. She's a dreamer. She's a woman of dreams. She's a prophet, but she's a woman of dreams. Like, God speaks to her all the time through her dreams, right? So, she went, she said she feels very weird when she goes five days without a dream from God. It just doesn't seem right to her. So, she said that God spoke to her and God told her. Well, he showed her that basically when you're not hearing from God, you're doing things right. When you're hearing from God, it's because he's correcting you all the time. He's correcting you. He's correcting you. He's telling you what not to do. He's telling you what to do. When you don't hear from God, or he's blessing you with blessings and stuff like that. When you don't hear from God and you're in a season of silence... You got to keep doing the same thing that he told you to do before he got silent on you. Because that means that that's where you were good at. That's where he had you at. And you got to stay there. It's kind of like staying ready for the blessings, right? Once he gets you to a place to receive all that he has for you, you got to stay there until it manifests. It manifests. Push. Pray until something happens. And Pastor Jamila spoke on this this morning. When it says Jacob wrestled, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When it says he wrestled, a lot of a lot of us don't didn't understand what he was wrestling with. Jacob wrestled with God. Okay, he wrestled with God, but what did he wrestle with with God, right? She broke it down finally. I'm telling you, thank you, wisdom. Thank you, knowledge and understanding and clarity. Thank you, Jesus. She broke it. I'm telling you, he was speaking. I know you were speaking to me, Holy Spirit. He was. He was speaking right to me. So he wrestled with believing that God was still going to bless him through all his brokenness. And then, oh my gosh. She was so talking to me, guys. <laughs> me and all y'all. <laughs> you wrestle with your belief system. Like, okay, God, it's been this many years. It's been this many months. And God, you promised this. And this ain't. You spoke this. And this and, and this and this. And God is just coming to you. And he's like, I'm still going to do it. Praise me. Celebrate. Rejoice. Do this and do that. 
and see everything is happening in the spiritual realm and we can't see oh Jesus the blur the birds just started flying as soon as I said that everything is happening in the spiritual realm and then when we look here in the natural it's harsh reality right it's harsh reality so it's just a test thank you Holy Spirit it's just a test this is why I be praying for God to end these tests every night I'm, I am I'm gonna tell him this is I be praying because the Holy Spirit will place it on my spirit and it'll just just like he just did while I'm speaking speaking to y'all and God will be like it's a test Kenithia calm down it's a test Kenithia it's a test and I'm just like but these are some harsh tests Lord right anyway wrestle with your belief and not the spirit of doubt you have spirit we have spiritual authority to take hold of our situations and to make them change so if they're not changing it's because we're not pleading the blood of Jesus over these situations to change every day until it changes Father, change my plead the blood of Jesus over this situation to change, to change it to turn for good. Everything that was bad may it turn to good now by spiritual authority, by power invested in me through Jesus Christ. The Spirit of the Living God is upon me, inside of me, and it breathes through me by fire, by force. This situation has to change. This is what God wants from y'all. Okay, this is an example. Hallelujah. This is an example of how God wants y'all to speak, to declare, and to um, manifest your own promises and stuff. Because God has given us the power and the authority to triumph and trample over the serpent and the scorpion. You Listen, God says our situations are not changing because we're not speaking them to change. We're not exercising spiritual authority every day. There's an open heaven and a big war going on right now. And God keeps telling me through different people. There's a big war going on against heaven and hell. Against good and evil. So we as the children of God, we have got to manifest. We don't have an option not to manifest. Because God has spoken. And these promises has got to come forth. In the name of Jesus. So we wrestle with our belief, not our doubt. We wrestle with the promises and a promise keeper because we're not giving up until he does it. Hallelujah. Just like the head of Koto, just like the woman with the issue of blood, Jesus. She held on to that garment. I'm not letting go. I am not letting go until you bless me in Jesus name. Hallelujah. You have to be persistent. Just like that woman who was pers the persistent woman in the Bible. She kept going back to this man for a job. I keep going back to God for these blessings. We're going to keep going until he keeps going. And he keeps blessing us just like he spoke it. In the name of Jesus. God is a God of his word. He is not a man that he shall lie. You know, that son would be like... You're a man of your word. You know what I say every time? You're a God of your word. Because if you said it, I believe it. If you said it, I believe it. Because <laughs> you're a God of your word. God is not a man that he should lie. Nor the son of man that he should repent. If God said it, he's going to do it. We got to keep pushing, keep praying, and it shall manifest. Sometimes God will just test you like he's doing now. <laughs> yeah, the spirit will delay that just to make sure you're going to still praise and worship him before the blessings come. Believe. Believing is knowing and trusting even when you don't see it. You just, excuse me, you just know that God is going to do it. Proverbs 35 For whoever finds me Finds life And obtains favor From the Lord 
There's unmerited favor blessed upon our lives. By fire, by force, we're going to get these promises and these blessings. You have to believe. It starts with your belief. You wrestle with this belief every day. Every day until it happens. Hallelujah. God said you're getting married in this season. This this year you're going to get married. If God said he's going to bless you with a new car in this season. This year you're going to get this new car. If God has said you're going to get married in this season. You're going to have children. You're going to do this. If God has said you're going to get promoted on your job in this season. This year you're going to get this promotion. Believe it. Receive it. Become this word in the name of Jesus. Amen. You have to align with God. Make sure you're in His will. Pray for the Holy Spirit to help you because you can't do it by yourself. Pray for God to help you not sin. Pray for God, thank you Holy Spirit, to withhold you from sinning. It's in the Bible just like he did with Abraham. He withheld Abraham and Sarah from sinning. You ask God, Father, please withhold me from sinning. I know I'm not perfect. I know this, I know that, but help me, Lord. Point me and give me wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and clarity. The Lord is also saying test the spirits that speak to you guys. A lot of spirits because of the spiritual warfare that's going on and the devil mad. He just releasing thoughts and bad stuff out that you can't even see is around you, right? Test the, the, the spirits that are speaking to you because, oh, okay, we're going to talk about him. All right, cool. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I was waiting. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm just giving this as an example. There was a man. And this man went on YouTube. I'm not even going to say his name because that's not of God. But this man went on YouTube the same day we all found out Prophet TB Joshua died. This N-I-G-G-A. You now you know I want to get black real quick, but I'm going to stand the spirit. This man, I, and you thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm just for you because I wasn't, um, I follow Pro Prophet TB Joshua, but I've just come to know him last year with um, my prophecy journey on with God. Like, God revealing Pastor Alfred Kyle to me and, um, Chris, Pastor Chris, who, uh, it's a lot of them in Africa, right? They, they real over there. Like, ha! <laughs> God got some heavy hitters over in Africa. But anyway. So the Lord has just been like bringing these people to my attention. So it's a blessing I got to meet them huh, through social media before they got to pass. But anyway, I know he was real. I felt the Holy Spirit through his his um his videos. Like the power of God was real. I was I was going into praise and worship, you know? So anyway, this man on <laughs> This man had personal problems with Prophet T.B. Joshua. And the moment he died, he called him a false prophet. He was waiting to speak about this and waiting to speak about that. And some, some family issue he had with him or whatever. The Lord is showing me this man, his man YouTube channel name. And I don't want to say it. <laughs> Solomon something. <laughs> so anyway, so... The first time the Lord brought it to my attention, it was like a recommended video. So I said, no, I'm not going to watch this. It's foolishness. The first thing this man said was, God told him to get on there and say that. So I was listening because anytime you say, God said, I'm going to test the spirit. Maybe it's a message for me. Maybe it's something that's foolishness. Maybe it's real. You know? So I said, okay. So... He starts talking very bad about prophet. He started calling him a false prophet. He, oh, he was going in on the man of God. So I logged off and I said, God, you didn't tell this man to do this. It's not of you. He needs. To, I told the Lord this. I said he needs to forgive and he needs to test the spirit that speaks to him. So I didn't comment or nothing. I just exited out. 
the next day this man went live again and when he went live this time he was stuttering like I could see the Holy Spirit trying to tell him to stop like I couldn't hear it because I wasn't um, in person with him but sometimes I can hear the God speak to you like if you're in front of me and God is talking to you and you can't hear him and he got to get loud with you I hear what the Lord telling you sometimes so anyway the Lord was ministering to this man and I believe the Lord was telling him to stop because he was he started stuttering like um 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 like you know like you could tell the spirit <laughs> so he kept going guys he kept going so the Lord went right through me and I finally wrote it and I was just like this is not of God thus says the Lord you need to forgive and test the spirit God wants y'all to test the spirits that you are hearing okay testing the spirit means is this of God is this a godly action would Jesus himself do something like this would God himself say that this is an okay thing for me to do and if you know it's evil come on guys if you know it's not of love if you know you just know it's just a See, Pastor Jimena said this the other day. Common sense is not so common or everybody else will have it. Everybody will have it. If common sense was so common, everybody will have it. Now here you hear an evil spirit telling you to come on here and, and, and bash a dead man of God. And because of your flesh and how you feel about this person, you're going to go do it test the spirit for whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord there is no way you should not know that that's not God speaking to you you have to know okay in the absence of answers faith is born in the absence of answers faith is born when you're not hearing from the Lord thy God and you're waiting on a message faith people faith and you wait and you wait and you pray and you pray and you wait and you push and you pray until something happens God is building you too when he said he says hallelujah he says this is building us and he said it's building other gifts he has inside of us so you have to be patient hallelujah so you have to be patient because you cannot see what he is doing so you got to trust him and believe in him amen that's my time i gotta pray for you guys heavenly father in the name of jesus i worship you i give you glory honor praise king of king and lord of lords I thank you father I thank you for speaking through me I thank you for using me I thank you oh God that for another day I have been able to sow a good seed of righteousness oh God to help change your people lives I pray oh God I, I help with your Holy Spirit I help Lord God call more people to righteousness more lives that are interested in you oh God and may your Holy Spirit through me help them not to give up. Help them, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I pray and I break the spirit of doubt, oh God. The spirit of unbelief. The spirit of hopelessness. In the name of Jesus, oh God. May bravery, the spirit of braveness fall upon us. Fall upon your people, oh God. The spirit of Hallelujah, joy, shalom, peace, happiness, unmerited favor, oh God, continue to rest upon us. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your erokoto. Hallelujah, your mercy. Oh, daddy, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for a double portion in this season, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah.
I pray we have room enough to receive this double portion. Hallelujah. Eyes have not. Hey, Jesus. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard all that God wants to do for those who love him. For those who seek him, he rewards us. Hey, Jesus. Those who seek him in private, he rewards us in public. Hallelujah. When you are fasting, be quiet. A lot of times you guys finish the fast and then try to come on here and tell people, God said don't do that. Be quiet. When you are fasting, stay quiet until he brings you out to, to do a testimony on that. Because he has blessed you because you did that. God said be quiet. That's what he's been showing me a lot these last five, five six, seven days. Be quiet quiet whatever he is doing in your life you wait until it manifests and you and when God says it's time for you to testify you give a testimony if the Lord don't tell you to do a testimony keep it quiet okay you know how many fast I do that y'all don't know about keep quiet in the name of Jesus hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. We just thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stay private. God said be, be private. Move in, in, in silence because there are enemies. There are people who are jealous. There are envious spirits. Move in silence. You cannot share with everybody what... God is doing. If God, if the Lord thy God don't tell you to say anything, don't say it. If he tells you to speak on it, you say whatever the Lord tell you to say in that time, in that moment. But your personal life, he is saying, keep private. Your relationships, when you start dating other people or when you start doing this, doing that, be quiet. He doesn't want the enemy to have no kind of open door. To, to God, when God said He's serious about these promises, we are going to get these promises and blessings. But you gotta be quiet. You gotta be very quiet, and you gotta be very private. You cannot tell everybody unless it's time for you to testify and give a testimony. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Santa. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Wicked, wicked people, wicked, the wicked. God, repent in the name of Jesus. Repent. Repent. We break every monitoring spirit, every familiar spirit, every perverse spirit, every evil diabolical spirit. We break you now in the name of Jesus. And we say you back and go out of our lives. We plead the blood of Jesus. I speak life into your life. I speak blessings into your life. The shalom and the peace of God on your mental, on your psyche. In the name of Jesus. Head of God. So thank you, Jesus. Full restoration in your finances. Unusual financial increase. I pray, Daddy, he make it rain in your pockets. Make it rain. Shalom. In the name of Jesus, may you never have to deal with the poverty spirit again. We break the poverty spirit, for it is not of God. It is not of God. It is evil. In the name of Jesus. You think Jesus died on the cross for you to be poor? We break that, that, that lion spirit. In in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over your money. I plead the blood of Jesus over your finances. I pray you have a, a team. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray for a team for you, a team of attorney, a team of, 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 of financial advisors. I pray for God's spirit of counsel and might to fall upon you, to fall upon your family. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God says thank him now. Thank him daily until you get what he wants you to have. You thank him. That's what he's waiting on. He's waiting on a real praise and worship like it's Christmas time. Before the gifts get here. Hallelujah. Oh hell King Jesus. Oh hell Elohim. Oh hell. Hell. 
Yeshua Mahamashiach. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Stay humble. Stay grateful. Hallelujah. Proverbs 11 verse 2. When pride comes, then comes shame. But when the humble is but with the humble is wisdom. Don't be prideful, guys. Do not be prideful. I did that. God didn't do this for me. I had to stand on the corner late night. You had to be protected to stand on the corner late night to come tell somebody you was late night on the corner serving somebody. God had to protect you not to die. And if you're still here, praise God. He had to give you the energy and allow you to do whatever you wanted to do. You did not do it by yourself. With pride comes shame. Remember who is leading you. Remember who is guiding you. Remember who your daddy is. It's Elohim. It's Jesus Christ. It's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Remember who your creator is. Because with God all things are possible you didn't do nothing by yourself that spirit of pride we break you now in the name of Jesus we call fire on you in Jesus name may every evil diabolical spirit oh God thank you Jesus please start a fire and may every evil diabolical spirit pride lust in the name of Jesus masturbation in the name of Jesus poverty poor in the name of Jesus that spirit of lack consume it oh God every hindrance every blockage every mental blockage every physical blockage in the name of Jesus oh God we just pray you consume these evil spirits that spirit of fear that spirit of doubt fire in the name of Jesus oh God consume it and send it back to hell in the name of Jesus that spirit of Jezebel you Jezebel you thieving spirit we break you now in the name of Jesus we call upon Jehovah Yahweh, 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 hallelujah. And we say, have your way, oh God, in our lives, in our minds, in our spirits, and in our souls. Hallelujah, daily. Thank you, Jesus. God says we are not alone. Our Father is with us. Every minute of every second of every day, we are never alone. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Somebody tried to tell me I was by myself in an argument. That God wasn't with me. And ever since that person said that to me, God has been showing me every day, my child, I am with you. Every second of every minute of every day. Don't never believe the devil when God says you by yourself. I don't care if it's cold at night and you sitting on the sidewalk. Believe that God sent your angel right there to sit with you on that sidewalk until you got some common sense to be obedient to God you're never by yourself the spirit of the Lord is upon me the spirit of the Lord is inside of you in Jesus name I pray amen family